Hey, what's up? Today we're going to be doing a year bad at Walmart where we look at people shopping at Walmart and maybe just some parking lot stuff. I don't know. Let's do it. This is your bad at Walmart number 71. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Oh, first we'll start with this battle between Cool Ranch Doritos and Mountain Dew. Oh, this looks like it's actually a video. Oh, you know what? I don't even want to see the video. I don't think we need to see the video. I'm sure I know what it's gonna happen. It's gonna be lots of loud screaming, like that's comedy, and then they're, I don't know, gonna fight or something, and then they're gonna be happy, and then probably do a dance. Standard internet shorts, right? Actually, this is kind of making me crave Cool Ranch Doritos and Mountain Dew now, so... I don't know, maybe... It's advertisement and it's working on me. Oh shoot, a new superhero team emerges! It's like the Power Rangers, but with less armor. And they're actually just a group of strippers who can't find the bachelorette party they're supposed to be at. They're like, look, we just need to get there, okay? People are really mad at us. I don't know why they made me Pink Ranger. Oh, what? Because this guy's the shortest. He's got to be Pink Ranger. Come on. And you guys do not look enthused to be in your costumes. I always just think it's like they had to stop for something on the way to a Halloween party and they're like, well, we gotta pick up the cake. And they're always the whole time like, well, we'll just pick it up on the way to the party. And they didn't think, ah, oh, shit, we're gonna be wearing our costumes on the way to the party. This was posted, I guess, by an employee. I'm sorry to say, but seeing this really made the employees really disgusted. Please, people, has some class to return it back to its place and not just dumping it on the floor. Damn, so this is just a pile of shoes. It's like one person scanned their shoes and threw it on the floor, and all these people just couldn't think for themselves. They're like, oh, well, that person did it. I guess I'll be a lazy piece of shit, too. Don't. That was a pet peeve of mine, too, when I worked in a grocery store. Like, when people just wouldn't put things back, and I still actually do that most of the time. Okay, I've been guilty a couple of times of putting something on another shelf when I'm in a rush, you know, I don't feel like dragging my kid back down 10 aisles. So, you know, I've, I've misplaced things, but I never do like the meat in a freezer or something that's supposed to be in a freezer in a meat. Oh, that's just a dick move. Anyway, <sighs> what was I even talking about? Yeah, it's a pet peeve of mine too. I like just put the shit back if you can. Just put the shit back. Oh, someone did some Walmart online shopping. We try our best to provide great substitutions for out of stock items. We'll send a survey with your receipt. Let us know how we did. We substituted one item. Charmin Ultra soft toilet paper 12 mega rolls for gator grit sandpaper 100 grit six pack shit but it's cheaper i should be wiping my ass with sandpaper because you know you're not getting a good wipe if you're not bleeding like a lot if it doesn't sting and rip off part of your flesh you're not wiping well enough that is not a proper substitute for toilet paper all right sandpaper toilet paper maybe they're buying like a cheap ass type of toilet paper and they're like oh no but they're buying Char Charmin Ultra Soft that's high quality toilet paper some high quality TP I don't know man maybe because both prices had 69 some algorithm some pervy algorithm put them together here's something someone found on a shelf I guess someone had a sweet tooth and just decided they were gonna eat that bunny. Well, were you taste testing it? What really makes me scared is the hole in the bunny. Look, someone violated that chocolate bunny and I don't wanna know what they did to it, but something went into that bunny. Oh, here's a wonderful shirt someone decided to wear to the Walmart. Found on Reddit, someone said they found this in the wild. Eat pate. It's healthy. Okay, I'm not gonna get into the science behind if that's true or not, but the real problem here is he's out with his young daughter and he's out wearing that shirt. You have a young daughter, you're gonna go shopping? Where, like, I just, you're your dad now, all right? Retire the, sh retire that fucking shirt. Or at least just wear it when you're out with your buddies. Oh, it just screams I'm a bad parent. You might be a great parent, but you made a serious lack in judgment in this moment in your life. Oh, here's another one with terrible parents. This was posted by a Walmart employee on the uh, Walmart Reddit, and it says, This happened about two weeks ago. The parents watched and laughed as the child set the stuff on fire. Lost a shit ton of money. Who in the fuck? Who just lets their kids set shit on fire? What the fuck? I just don't get it. It's just idiots raising children. It's just so alarming. Oh, 
why did you even have a kid? Because you wanted to be able to do arson in a Walmart and not have to be arrested for it. Like, oh, it was my child. He doesn't know any better. All right, now set that teddy bear on fire. Oh, okay. Uh, this is AI generated, right? Nobody could possibly cram themselves into shorts that small. Look, I'm not trying to be rude. Anyone can dress how they want, but I just want to say, lady, you might be comfortable in a size up, you know? Maybe two or three sizes up in those shorts. I don't know. Let's not even get into the bad tattoo choices. You're just making bad choices all around. Oh, here's another shirt. Hold on. I work harder than an ugly stripper. At least that one's funny. All right. Whatever, there's nothing wrong with that sweater. A woman arrested after Amish horse and buggy stolen from Walmart parking log. An Amish family has their horse and buggy back after it was stolen Saturday evening out of a Walmart parking lot. Who steals a horse and buggy? Like, instead of stealing a car, you stole a horse and buggy. I guess a horse and buggy is technically not as bad as a car, but you stole from the Amish? Are you crazy? Don't, don't the Amish have like their own mob or something? There's like a whole reality TV series about the Amish mob. You don't want to mess with those dudes, okay? They got family ties. They runs deep. They got a lot of land, a lot of farmland. They can make a person disappear, all right? I'm sure they're a great bunch of people. It's not the life for me, but I think it's fascinating. Here's a mannequin with super long arms. I just picture someone went up there and started like making out and hugging the mannequin and then both arms fell off and they're like, yeah, it's alive. Just imagine that mannequin just like in a horror film. The lights go out and it's just running at you with its floppy long arms. Could be good. Could be. Write that idea down. That might be a good movie. Run that past uh, uh who's a, who's a good, uh, uh, who's a good horror film person? John Carpenter. Oh, here's a discount shelf in a Walmart. What the hell is going on here with this teddy bear? Does that teddy bear have a propeller penis? Why? Why is there... A... The placement. You had to know what you were doing, right? You're like, yeah, the, the teddy bear just sticks its crotch in the air and flies around the room. Although $4, $4 is a good price. Maybe I'll tuck that in my back pocket for Valentine's Day next year. I'll give it to my wife, $4. Even if she doesn't like it, I'm not gonna give that to my children, just to be clear. And let's end with some videos, because I found a bunch of cool Walmart, well, cool Walmart videos. I found a bunch of Walmart videos. I wouldn't call them cool. I'd call them probably somewhat annoying, most of them. This one is actually very long and very annoying, so I'm gonna give you the condensed version. By the way, guys, for my first introduction to you, fuck! Stop. Hurry the fuck, I'm leaving now. Hey, of course this is well, sir, you fuck! I am the Prince of the Congo, you fuck! Hey, the hey. Country in the world. You fuck kids, nothing, boy. Save him, boy. I see no white devil in your eye, boy. Try me up. Give me that money now. It's Elijah from the Bible. You. Yeah, basically this guy shouted fuck a bunch of times. A bunch of people tried to get him to stop yelling fuck, and then he didn't, and they figured it wasn't worth their time, and then he finally got his cash out, and he did this. Hey, guess what I did this for? Oh, you motherfucker! He just threw the money at them. It's really hard to be mad at a guy that gives you free money afterwards. It's almost like he knew he was being a dick and he was like, you know what, just take the money. The most alarming part to me is when he takes his earbuds out for the first time to finally listen. I'm gonna, you know why I'm gonna listen to this guy? You know why I'm gonna turn my music off for this guy? Because, of course you're black, what do you want me to do? I didn't realize this guy had no idea what people were saying to him. He, he wasn't listening to anything. He was just listening to music and shouting. He probably thought he was talking at a normal volume. Oh, weird. That was a weird one. Trust me, I spared you a long, annoying, shouty video. Here's a car that drove into the Walmart. <laughs> How fast did you have to be going to go that far through the Walmart? Were you trying to hurt people? I want to know what happened. Because, you know, sometimes people are driving and they're like, they're prone to seizures and stuff. And that sometimes something like this, surprisingly, it's not always drugs and alcohol. But sometimes it's either just a bad driver or some sort of seizure or, 
You know, maybe they fell asleep at the wheel. Or maybe it was just a crazy person that wanted to see how much damage the Walmart could take. They're like, damn, I was trying to see if I could get all the way through the Walmart because Walmarts, they're a figment of our imagination. I thought the Walmart was a hologram. I'm trying to prove a theory. It didn't work. Well, I sincerely hope nobody was seriously injured. Here's what a vast majority of the content is on the internet these days. Oh, wow, a woman walking at Walmart. I wish I could do content like this where I just walk at a Walmart, bend over and pick something up, and I'm like, what? Did anybody stare? I think that's what she was trying to do. I think she was trying to get a guy to stare at her or something. Damn, what an awesome viral video of this guy in the background respecting the shit out of you by not treating you like an object and just continuing to shop. Shit. That shit was intense. <laughs> You still posted it, too. It's just you picking something up, all right? I could wear a bikini and go pick something up. Actually, it probably would also go viral, but not for the same reasons. Mine would be like a try not to puke challenge or something. Oh, here's another video of someone being crazy at Walmart. I Oh, you poured cereal and milk on yourself. I've never seen that before. Like, you're not even being original at this point. You're just yelling like a drill sergeant and pouring milk on your head. Is yelling and being obnoxious in public, is that content these days? Because I just, I gotta get out there and just start doing that. That sounds way easier than doing I don't. I won't even have to edit those videos. I'll just get a buddy to watch me scream. Really the best part of this whole video is the one guy in the background that waves for the camera. I got a good laugh out of it. And we'll end with this. this is a pretty long video. I'm gonna condense this one for you too, but this is a pile of stuff that someone tried to steal from a Walmart. Wow, that is a lot of shit to be stealing. But the most alarming part of this video to me is right here at the end where they talk about how the children were also carrying out these cases and helping steal. They had everybody pushing a basket out. It, because it was like two or three baskets. Oh, they stuffed this thing. Oh, did you see how much baby clothes in here? They was just grabbing stuff off the table and putting it in here. Like literally just grabbing stuff off the table, off the racks. They got to put all of this back tomorrow. They said each kid had a cart. Are you kidding me? Like, this is the problem with society these days. They're teaching children at a young age to be assholes. It's assholes raising assholes, turning them into just, oh, there's too many assholes in the world. There's too many assholes making more assholes. I already have an asshole, okay? I don't need another asshole. I don't need to be creating more assholes. I hope my children grow up to be very nice people. In fact, I know they will because I'm raising them. Look, you never know what's gonna happen in the future, but I would like to hope that I am giving them everything they need to be good people. I would never be getting my children to help me steal. The hell, is that why you had children? You're trying to make yourself a little, little stealing ring? Like a little group of British children to go pickpocket people? <laughs> Shit. Anyway, that's the video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I got to say. That's some Walmart stuff. So, uh, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks. Check out all the cool merch at the merch site. And I will see you again soon.
Come up to your screen real quick. <gasps> Nova, are you here? Nova? Nova. Nova. Oh, gotcha. Boop, boop, did it. Boop, 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 boop.